When I became homeless at one point in my life, it was the worst thing, but the best thing that ever happened to me. Because sometimes God has to knock you off your feet so that he can get you on your knees. When you see me, blessings all on me. You don't know my testimony. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know. The best place for me to start is from an honest place. Because if I don't start from an honest place, I'll never connect with you. So let me be vulnerable, let me be honest. I used to be very prideful. I used to be very arrogant. I used to be very puffed up. I really thought I knew it all. I really thought that I had my entire life mapped out. I thought I, had, I, thought I knew the directions that I had to go until I had a real encounter with Jesus Christ. And how I had this encounter, I always tell people, when I became homeless at one point in my life, it was the worst thing, but the best thing that ever happened to me. Because sometimes God has to knock you off your feet so that he can get you on your knees. And when God knocked me off my feet and I got on my knees, I developed a closer relationship with him. And my encouragement to you is don't wait until God knock you off your feet for you to realize how much you need him to walk. Don't wait until when God turned the lights off in your life for you to realize it was him that was the power source. Don't wait until that happens. My encouragement to you today is to always align your life with Jesus, is to give your whole heart to him, is to surrender your entire being to him. Because until I did that, that's when I start experiencing fulfillment. That's when I stop seeking validation. That's when I stop seeking approval. The day that I give my life to Jesus, He filled every empty place in my life. Every desire to be accepted, every desire to be approved. The day that I surrendered my life to God, that's when I experienced the fulfillment that I have now. He carried every burden, He took every weight, and Jesus Christ renewed me. Hallelujah. The, Bi the, the Bible says, if any man in Christ, he's a new creature. The former things are passed away. Hallelujah. And behold, all things are made new. Who I am today is only who I, let me say it like this. This is the person that I am today was the person that God created me. Who I was before is who I was trying to be. I was never embracing who God really made me. So that's my encouragement to you is to give your whole heart to him and watch the Lord transform your life, watch him transform your ministry, and watch him use you for his glory. Because all we are put here to do is to live life to the glory of God. Colossians 3.23 says, everything that we do, we do it unto the glory of God, not working for man, but unto God. So God bless you, and you can only find your purpose until you surrender your everything to Jesus. When you see